Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q. So we just got a request from Mitsuru to do a study hall session in the food court. So we're gonna jump right into it and accept that request. So let's jump right in here. So we're gonna go into check request and take request and study hall is in session. So we're gonna jump right into that one. Are you sure you would like to accept this request? Yes, I would like to accept this request and we'll jump right into this other little event. This request is from Mitsuru. I will go get her right now. Please wait a moment. Alright, thank you for waiting. In order for us to have a party without worrying, I'd like to help Junpei study for his test. It may be a hassle, but I'd like you to be present for it as well. I don't mind. Don't invite Junpei to the party. I don't mind. I see. Thank you. I feel that if I were to do this alone, I may come off as too complacent. I n I've never really thought about having to do something like this before. Perhaps I've changed, or maybe I have the potential to change. Regardless, I'll need your help. You see from her eyes that Mitsuru is serious about this. I'm sorry that it's so sudden, but I will place a time limit on the request. Carpe diem, as they say. Let's uh, lion for seize the day. I'll be waiting for you. Try talking to Mitsuru and Junpei by selecting the stroll option in the menu. Alright, so now we're going to go back into the stroll option and jump into that request and also probably do the stroll events that are available. So let's check that out. There's about four. Let's do the urgent study hall one. Alright, so the food court, you find Mitsuru and Junpei sitting at the table with several notebooks spread out in front of them. Ah, you, so you came. So what do you think, Yori? We've been over most of this book. Did you get all of that? This is impossible. These functions might as well be magic spells. If I was smart enough to memorize these, I wouldn't be here. <sighs> Stop being so defiant. <sighs> Come on, there's a culture festival going around us. How can you expect anybody to study like this? <laughs> uh, just kidding. I suppose you do have a point. Huh. Yori, I'll change our study method. <sighs> this is a festival, after all. Why don't we reform this as a type of quiz game? A game? I suppose you'll need an opponent. Nguyen, can I ask you to do it? Leave it to me. <laughs> Aha, that's quite reassuring. I'll make it three multiple choice questions. However, I will give you all the time you need to answer. The one who delivers the most correct answers will be the winner. Winner. I will award a prize to the winner, the, to the one who wins this. Hey, hey. All right. I'll, I'm definitely not going to lose. All right, your quiz match against Junpei has begun. Question one. Uh, before that, Yori, would you or what will the test be covering? Uh, history, the Warring States period. I mean, Mr. Ono. Oh so he only ever talks about that time. Something about the culture of the commoners in that period. Something about the festival. Some kind of dance. I wasn't really listening. Uh, well, I'll have you make. Uh, I'll make you interested in that culture. Question one. Every region in the country holds different festivals some of them may shock you i will list four festivals three of them which i've uh, i have participated in and one i have made up me tell me see. which one of these is a fake festival dancing in the christian graveyard launching handmade rockets drinking 100 liters of water and only five seconds long all right so i'm gonna go look up the answer all right guys so i figured out the answer it is drinking 100 liters of water so let's just click that one all right, I chose the five second long one. What is the point of having a festival like that? You did Correct, Nguyen. I doubt anyone would hold a hundred liter water drinking festival. Huh? Seriously? You got one point. Huh? So all the other ones exist are you, and you participated in them? <laughs> I was invited along with my father. It happened quite often. So what do you think? Most people find culture boring, but it is the backbone of civilization. I make sure, or I'm sure you can find something you can relate to. Well, I guess I learned a little about a little about weird festivals. Festivals are based on all sociological aspects, culture, region, religion, history, geography. It's all good to know. Is that so? Now then, question two: Festivals are held in the summer and autumn. Summer festivals often pray for good health since famine was common. Can you see. guess what the meaning for autumn festivals usually are? The first one, to ask for stable weather, to thank for the harvest, to prepare for the winter, to laminate or lament the end of the summer. It is to thank for the harvest. Hmm. Yeah, I think so too. 
I mean, that's when people do harvest, right? Say magnifique. You are both correct. Oh, really? As Iori says, autumn is a time for harvest. People dedicate a portion of their harvest to the gods. Then they pray for the next year's harvest will be plentiful. So that's why. You and Junpei both earn a point. <laughs> Doing a game show like this is kind of fun. It makes me feel like I have to get it right. <laughs> the same could be said about studying. It's fun to find answers for questions, and it's even to discover new questions. Ah, uh, I guess so. Now comes the final question. Of the following, which is not the correct reason for having a festival? You want it to rain, you're building a new house, you want it to be wealthy, and there's no invalid reasons. And the answer is there are no invalid reasons. I'd say building a new house. Very good, Nguyen, that's correct. Ah, oh, damn it! The festival's a prayer. Any wish, selfless, uh, selfish or selfless, can be considered a festival in some way. I that's see. deep. Let me write that down. You get the point. Now, let me announce the results. Say magnifique. You got all the questions correct. Seriously. Uh, damn. Are you even human? You beat Junpei. Let me see. What do you think, Yori? Are you more interested in studying? Yeah, that was perfect. I'm gonna get a 100% on the test easy. By the way, Yuri, when is the test taking place next week? What's going on? What are you talking about? We've got second period finals coming up, right? That's next month. Huh? What What the? So, I did all this studying for nothing? <laughs> Damn it, I wasted all this time. I thought you had some kind of small test coming up. However, no matter, this is a good opportunity. We can go over other subjects as well. <laughs> no! You studied a little longer uh, and helped you pay with his studies. All right, pretty awesome. You should report this to the nurse nurse's office later. All right, so we are gonna go back and report that to Elizabeth. So we're gonna check request and report request. City hall is in session complete, and we're gonna level up. So wait a moment while I go get Mitsuru. Thank you for waiting. Thank you. Thanks for helping me with the Yori study session. It took me trial and error, but in the end, I believe I found a way to hold this interest. You can have this. this will be your reward. I'd take it, or I'd like you to take it. You received the Media Rahan. I don't plan on giving a prize. The council president shouldn't be favoring some students over others, but I really didn't expect you to get all the questions right. I'll make an exception in this case. Please keep it a secret. You got that? You received a Soma. I'll be heading back now. It seems as though our time in these labyrinths is coming to an end. Stay focused. Alright, so I guess it's coming to- the labyrinths are coming to an end soon. Material leaves the nervous office. And now we are going to continue on with some of the- uh, Alright, we're going to level up quite a lot. And we got a new Mahama on. So these are just some new abilities. And uh, we are going to continue with the stroll events. So the characters who I don't really usually play are gonna level up. Uh, so we're gonna continue on. Please come again. All right. So we have three more stroll events. Let's see how many we can do in the time allocated in this last or this episode. So friendship is strong. Third floor concession alley and the sweets hall. Uh, your companions are having a meal. Hmm. I see. It's true that the confections here are sweet enough to be worthy of the name hell. <laughs> but that sweetness is a comfort right now. I'm a bit surprised to see you eating Japanese sweets though. Is that so? Well, I do tend to prefer Western sweets. I often take or have cake with my tea when I'm tired. Oh, then let's go get cake with everyone sometime. I found this little place near our school. Not near the school, please. It could cause a scandal. Why? It's against school rules or anything? You gotta take breaks once in a while. That's true, but... Uh, it seems the two of them are having, uh, have opened up quite a bit. Everyone is smiling happily to see them do so. <laughs> it's interesting seeing those two chat freely like that. Giggle. <laughs> Even when they're normal girls, like, now that they've, uh, ice is broken. <laughs> Yuka-chan doesn't like, doesn't look sad anymore. Mitsuru-san has a gentle look on her face too. Oh. Yes. But when it comes down to it, what is friendship between girls actually like? Even the girls in my class talk behind each other's backs. It's weird. It weirds me out every time because I thought they get along. Girls can be friends. For reals? 
<laughs> For reals? Uh, I swear the bond between guys is way stronger though. Hey. June Paycoon, if you can't take a hint, you should shut your mouth. Don't even breathe. But I'll die. Mm. Does it matter if you're a boy or a girl when it comes to friendship? <laughs> uh, that's just for little kids. You don't e know yet, Ken. Honestly. Well, there's no way I can respond when you say it like that. <laughs> Zen. Hey, Zen, are you and me friends? Mm -hmm. Friends? What is that? What? What? That's horrible. You're a monster. Uh, uh, is a friend really all she wants from Zen? Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about such classifications, but you are important to me, Ray. Uh. Ah. <laughs> I see. Uh, oh. She's bright red. Oh my, what a scandal for him to make a pass in public like that. Oh, shoot up. Shut up, Junpei. Oh I wish we had a cure for your insipid banter. banter. Um, uh, I have a sewing kit here, if you'd like. You're gonna sew my lips shut? Alright, you enjoyed some time with your companions. Alright, let's jump on to the second one, learning a lesson. Second floor display hall. Your companions are gathered here. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. We were pretty sorry. It was we were a pretty sorry sight. Shouldn't you be thanking him instead of apologizing? Ha, ah, you're right. Thanks. You underclassmen were keeping a cooler head than we were. Arf. <laughs> Karochan seems happy too, right, Kanji? Yeah, yeah sure. come on. Let me pet that fluffy coat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kanji, your face is too scary. You're frightening Koro-chan. <laughs> you were rejected, Kanji. Uh, poor boy, boy I'll comfort you. What's up? Shut up. Quit being such a creeper. <sighs> There's the BFFs thing Yukari was talking about. <laughs> There's definitely no way we could be, or we could get that close. Don't give up. You're no different. Don't give up. Why not? You actually want to see us doing that stuff? <laughs> I might not be that bad. Don't you want to see what would happen to Mitsuru? Whimper? <laughs> there, there. Guess we worried you two. Arf. Oh, I think I'm finally getting at what I've been vaguely sensing this whole time. What is it? I thought we were a lot like this place. Huh? huh? What do you mean? A culture festival is a bunch of different displays gathered to form one event, right? We're just like that. A bunch of different people gathered to form one group of companions. Displays, huh? But it's not like we have uh, a sign out like the stalls here. That's why we gotta speak up if we want to understand each other. That's right. I've learned that understanding things are some things and doing it are two different things. And no one display can take the place of another if it wasn't there. It may look similar, but it'll never be the same ever again. That's pretty weird an analogy using the sign or displays there. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with that? <laughs> nah, sounds good to me. Right? Uh, hiccup. Whoa, what are you tearing up for? I'm just so glad. It made me happy too when you all took what Yukari said to heart back then. <sighs> Still, it ain't anything to cry about. <laughs> nah, it was seriously impressive. If someone pointed out something like that to me, I don't know if I could just take it on head or take it head on like you did. You think? <laughs> and that's how boys climb the stairs to maturity. Even Aki matured enough to say poetic things like we're a lot like this place. <sighs> I gotta know something. Do you really or do you guys really need this bear for a companion? Uh no, not at all. Uh uh, alright, then let's make bear stew out of him. No! You enjoyed some time with your companions. Alright, so we have one more stroll event, and I will do that in the next episode, and then in the next episode, we'll head on to the fourth floor, guys. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.